Okay, so I have a newly flashed image on the um, BeagleBone AI64 from the 2023 um, January 2nd image. So um, I've done just a couple things to it. I've gotten it onto the Wi-Fi here. You can find the WPA um, config interface so you can get onto um, internet connection. I've also gone and remoted my interface with a tool called Barrier. That is from my, my, my keyboard and mouse that I can share the keyboard and mouse um, with my laptop that's capturing the video output from the mini display port uh, using a active mini display port to HDMI adapter and to an HDMI capture card. Um, so there's a ton of applications in the default Debian image, um, but specifically we want to look at the Edge AI um, applications that, that have come from um, Texas Instruments. And you'll find those in the OPT um, Edge AI apps directory. Right? You'll see some other stuff here in the OPT, um, including things like Model Zoo and the, um, the um, Visual Studio Code server and some other examples. Um, but um, here we're just going to show um, the Edge AI apps. Um, in, in the Edge AI apps, you've got apps in, um, written in, in C++ as well as a, a Python. Um, but the majority of these really they, they really helps you utilize GStreamer to go and create your your um, your pipelines. Right, this is a much simpler way to kind of um, to get those pipelines created. You'll ultimately want to learn about GStreamer and learn about the pipelines that these are creating um, to help debug and to help um, you know customize things as as you need to. But this is a great way to kind of get started with some of the pre-existing um, models in the in the model zoo. Um, and different configurations. So let's jump right into some of the configurations. Um, I think uh, reason we want to start out with is the um, object detection, right? So we run the app's Edge AI application and we utilize the um, this uh, configuration file. Here we'll just jump into um, object detection. Uh, the default password um, for the Debian user is TEMP PWD, um, but I highly recommend that you change that um, in your system. So this is using um, pre-recorded video, but the inference here that's occurring is, is being done in, in real time um, utilizing the, the accelerators and then um, rendered through the, the GStreamer um, pipeline. I'm hitting hit Control c here a couple times to get out of this um, demo. Um, let me just go through um, what that configuration file looks like. Um, so there's a few different uh, inputs um, that are configured um, the first one would be the default from um, a video camera. Let me just, uh, uh, there's a, a little script here um, that will tell you where the, um, where the, what the, the, the video interface is for, for cameras that are connected. Um, so I've got a, um, a, a Logitech um, C922 connection uh, as well as the USB dongle, right? So that's what's connected up to my, to my board. Um, um, so that you can have input from the, the a live stream from a camera, um, a, a file, um, a video file, or a series of image files. Um, you can have different models um, configured. Um, so the one that we were watching was um, the, a TVM uh, model um, using SageMaker. Um, and then you can, of course, run a TensorFlow Lite or Onyx. Um, let's try the Onyx one um, uh, next. Um, there's um, and then the outputs, right? So we're using the uh, to the different outputs either straight to the screen or to video files, um, and then this is in the flow is where these things are actually selected, right? So they're defined up above and then actually utilized um, down here in this uh, configuration file. Um, so let's just flip the model real quick, and um, of course you'll note that I am using. Um, pseudo. There, there are some permissions that are required to I'm using the accelerators right now um, to run as root. I haven't quite gotten all that um, fixed, but now we're here. So here we're running a different um, a different model. This is from the the, the Onyx runtime. Um, and of course, if you want to um, add more models, um, you can. Um, there's you see there's a script here. Download models. Um, and this is um, super handy. This will go um, out to the internet and grab the latest um, um, pre-trained models from the TI Model Zoo. Um, so you can see that's a, a, a long list of uh, pre-trained models that you can um, choose from. Uh, I think I'll jump forward to a, um, just for brevity, to um, 
a, a somewhat more, I'll, I'll use the Python um, version, right? So I, I showed the C++, I was just using it out of the path. Um, but um, here if we want to use the, the Python uh, apps, Python uh, apps, um, the Edge AI Python script, so you can go and look at the source and look at the details of how this is, how this is implemented. Um, that will run the, um, uh, the configs. Uh, let's do the multi multi input multi inference, right? So here we'll be running four different models, but on two different data streams. So one is going to be um, one from the video camera, and then one will be from a pre recorded um, video. And so we'll start that, and so you can see the live stream here from the the camera. Um, Doing different uh, two different models, All right? Um, should grab some random things around the room. <laughs> Getting confused by the mirror image. Uh, um, yeah, so you can see here that it's running four different models um, with with um, two different uh, input streams, and of course the um, the examples are. Um, are all in there to, to help kind of uh, build some understanding. One thing that I will point out, um, definitely recommend you going to the instructions, but um, utilizing this config checker uh, is a nice way to kind of get uh, the, the, the there, there's other ways to kind of extract what the GStreamer pipeline is, um, but this is a useful one, right? So if we look at the configs on the, um, that same one, um, Oh, I didn't run it with sudo. <laughs> so, um, so you can see that the, the fairly um, uh, complex uh, stream that's set up here to um, can scroll back here. Um, but um, let's just do this just to show it. Um, so you can see the rather complex uh, GStreamer pipelines that are being um, set up by this, and you can find out more on this um, in the documentation um, and start kind of piecing together the different pieces to run the different models. But this is a really quick and easy way to kind of go exploring um, running models in real time on your Beagle AI64.